Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwebbin.com and in this video, we'll show you how to flash the latest Nextroid UI based on Android 15 onto your Poco F5. So please take a backup of all the data on your phone and then let's get started. First off, you will have to get hold of the latest Android SDK platform tools. This is the official ADB binary given by Google and is required for ADB command. So get it from my guide and extract them onto your PC. You may extract them anywhere you want. In our case, we have done the extraction in C drive. And these are the files of platform tools. Once you have done the extraction, you will now have to enable USB debugging and OEM unlocking. Debugging is required for ADB command, whereas OEM unlocking is required to unlock the booter on your phone. So let's now enable both this toggle. For that, go to the settings menu on your phone, then go to about phone and tap on OS version seven times. You will get a prompt that you are now a developer. So go back and go to additional settings and you should now see developer option. Go there and enable the toggle next to OEM unlocking as well as USB debugging. You will now get a prompt on your phone. Check mark, I'm aware of all the risk. And then you have to wait for 10 seconds. Once the time frame has elapsed, just tap on OK. And after that, you might also get an RCG prompt. So again, tap on OK. And with this, debugging is now enabled. Let's verify the same. So go to the start menu, type in CMD and hit enter. This will launch command prompt. Now type in CD space and copy the path of platform tools. Let me do that as well. Just a minute. So copy the path and paste the path here and you are now inside the platform tools directory. Now type in ADB devices and verify that you're getting an ID. If you're not getting any ID, then unplug and replug your phone from the PC. Disable and re-enable USB debugging. Tap on revoke USB debugging. Use the official USB cable that came with your phone and use the USB 2.0 port on your PC. So carry out these USB fixes and verify that you're getting an ID. Once you're getting this ID, your next course of action is to unlock the bootloader on your phone. Do note that unlocking will wipe off all the data and it might make the warranty null and void as well. If that's well and good, you could refer to a guide and video and get this job done via the official me unlock tool. Once you've unlocked the bootloader, your phone will undergo a wipe and then boot to the OS. So make sure to re-enable USB debugging once again. Once that is done, you could now get hold of the ROM file next Droid UI. And once you have got the ROM file, you will have to extract it onto your PC as well. As you could see, this is the extracted ROM file. Now you will have to boot your phone to fast boot mode. So type in ADB reboot bootloader and hit enter. And your phone will now reboot into fast boot mode in a few seconds. So let's just wait for that to happen. And once it's in the fast boot mode, you will have to type in fastboot devices and verify that you are getting an ID. If you're not getting any ID, then you will have to install fastboot drivers on your PC. We have made a separate guide and a video on the same. You could refer to a guide and get the job done. Once you have installed the drivers, right click on the windows icon and choose device manager. Then expand the Android phone section and verify that your phone is being shown here as Android bootloader interface. So this as well as the serial ID next to fastboot signify that your PC is able to read the phone in fastboot mode. And we are now good to go ahead. So let's now get started with the flashing process. So make sure you have done the extraction of the ROM file. The ROM will be in a zip file. So extract it upon extraction. You will get the following files. This is a fast boot ROM and not the recovery ROM. So you do not need TWRP or Orange Fox recovery. You could easily flash the file using this batch file. So just double click to launch the batch file. It will ask you to remove all the data from your files and photos stored on internal storage. Type in Y, hit enter. And the flashing will now start. It will flash all the files on your own. You don't have to do anything whatsoever. While the flashing is going on, your phone might also reboot to the fast boot D mode. That is completely normal and nothing to worry about. You may keep a track of everything by even by opening this file as well. So let's open it via Notepad plus plus. And as you could see, all the files are being flashed. First off, it will set the slot A as an active slot, then flash all the files inside the images folder. This is an image folder, and here you could see all the files are there. So it will flash all these files in their respective partition from the images folder, partition name, folder name, and then this is the file name. So it will flash all these files and once that is done, it will erase all the data and then reboot your phone to the OS automatically. So let's just wait for that to happen. So guys, the flashing is now complete. And as soon as that happens, the CMD window will automatically close and your phone will reboot to the OS. Do know that the first boot up will take up some time. That is completely normal and nothing to worry about. From the subsequent time, that will not be the case. Moreover, let's wait for the boot animation or at least the boot logo to appear. Either of which will signify that the flashing has been done successfully and it should now appear in a few more seconds. 
so let's wait for that to appear and it's based on the hyper os build so this is the hyper os boot logo or the boot animation and the flashing has been done successfully it should take a few more seconds so let's just wait for the rom to boot to the os so with this we are now inside the os first off tap on the blue button and now you are inside the next right ui let's choose the english language tap on next as of now i'm skipping the initial setup process if you want you may connect your phone to the wi-fi and then link your google account and restore the data but i'm simply skipping those and only using it as a new device you may also import from an older device let me skip the screen lock for now as well record your greeting so it's using the me ai full screen gestures next and with this the setup is now complete and we are now inside the Xiaomi Hyper OS 2 which is built on based on Android 15 and you will have to change the language to get the English by default you might get a few notifications in Chinese that is completely normal and this is the classic app drawer you don't have to swipe up you could just do a left and right shift to access the all the apps and these are some of the pre-installed system apps there aren't many blotware which is quite great to see and swiping left will take you to the app vault and you may choose the required widgets and interact with them from here calendar occupied ram refresh ram ram booster recommended apps as well for all of these you will have to be online then let's access the settings menu my device and as you could see it's the latest next ride based on android 15 let me show you that as well as you could see it's android 15 okay apart from that let's have a look at the few other features then more connectivity options you have the Xiaomi hyper ai as well it's the personal me ai assistant then you may go to the personalization section and from here personalize your device using the aod wallpaper themes and all such sites let's enable the aod and choose a custom theme you may choose a custom theme from here these are some of them are chinese in language and these are the older ones as well or let's you may choose any one of your choice so let's choose a minimalistic one let me go with this one you may also change the or remove or add the other options as well such as battery notification and steps applied successfully aod has been applied and let's have a look so after applying the aod you might have to do a system ui restart or else it might not work well in this case applying the aod has led to a os reboot so this might be a ui bug i'll have to verify it once again you might get a prompt on your phone regarding the android system just tap on ok let me increase the brightness as well and now let's see once again if the phone reboots to the os so guys as of now there is a bug with the aod so please don't apply any type of aod just to be on a safer side leave it as it is and you may then use a new build and in the latest build the issue have might have been rectified so you may go to my guide and then download a new build as and when it's live and then have a look at the result in that build the issue might have been fixed but as of now the build which i, I am using in that build the aod issue is still there so let's not use that feature let me completely disable the aod just to be double sure let's go to the personalization section and from there aod and let me turn it off to be on a safer side and apart from aod you also have a few wallpapers you may choose from gallery or these are the various wallpaper sets that you could download from online and these are the theirs which are already installed on your phone floor as you could see there are quite a lot of options that you could choose from gradient and these are the system wallpapers which i have seen in xiaomi 13 and 14 series again these are the super wallpapers for which you will need to download it from online then you may always download the wallpapers from the store as well likewise same is the case with the theme by default you only get two themes and then you could download more themes from online as well these are the various icon styles so apart from classic you may also choose the old and classic limitless but this looks quite nice so let's go with this one only then font 
so there are a couple of fonts for all the other fonts you will have to go to online and download the fonts then you may change increase or decrease the size of the font as well from here next up you have the aod notification so as of now so whenever you receive notifications on aod the edges of your phone will light up regarding that you may choose the red or blue or even the sparkling effect as well this is way too much for a notification let's go with the blue one itself and apart from that you have the lock screen tweaks as well raise to wake double tap to wake when device is locked so let me have a look so it's working well and good then apart from that it's the same old miui tweaks that you get or rather the zomi hyper os tweaks that you get with the stock hyper os 2.0 or rather which is based on android 15 so uh, all the tweaks tab plus special features so it automatically identifies the images and the copied text that you are copied in the clipboard and will give you more information regarding that you have to agree to the terms and condition and even ass assign a gesture as well you may do so apart from tab plus moreover if there are some issues with regard to, to privacy concern then you may add the app to the block list for example you may turn off the settings for the banking and payment app because you don't want them to read the otp and all such information so turn off the tab plus feature for those app then the floating window feature is also there you may bring up the floating window from the side toolbox sidebar enable it and then you could access all these apps from here and even add more apps of your choice from here and you could add up to 10 apps from here just hit the plus icon and tap on done and the apps will be added as of now usually keep it disabled because they tends to conflict with the usage then you may also use the floating windows from here as you could see it has explained how to enable the floating windows let's give it a try as well job done so for instance if you have a notification any third party notification as of now there is no third party notification this is a system notification and that will not work over here so you just have to press and hold it and then you will from the white bar and it will be in a floating window and then you may drag its corner to increase or decrease the size as well and then likewise you may move the floating window to any direction on the screen and close it as well and then simply transfer it on the right or left hand side and it will then hide it at the top left or top right and likewise you may also minimize an app as shown here just drag it to the top right corner of the screen so all of this can be carried out directly from the screen as well since currently i don't have any notification third party notification so i'll not be able to show you as of now and apart from that memory extension so this is not generally recommended but if you plan to use then you may use then the os will use the storage of your phone and it will give you more ram in place of that so it will occupy 8 gb of ram of storage and will give you additional 8 gb of ram on paper it's this is how things work but i am not quite sure whether what are the implications so i am usually don't use this feature and then you may get some additional tweaks as well which you can enable from here so it's mostly based on the latest xiaomi hyper os 2.0 and there aren't any many new features it's based on the chinese build of the hyper os 2.0 so it's a clean stock ui and if your phone hasn't yet got the latest android 15 build then this rom might be your best choice to get the job done so guys with that in mind i round off this video if you have any queries with regard to any of the steps do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching